Life in Kenya for many is hard. With more than 50% of the population living under the poverty line, education seems to be for the fortunate, not for the poor. This is Vanessa. She is four years old. She wants to be a driver when she grows up. This is David. He says he wants to work in a hospital. And Alvis wants to be a lawyer. For them, these are dreams that probably will never leave this impoverished area. Most here tend to stay put, never getting out of the vicious cycle of poverty. I've been living in this place for like 10 years or so, and the people who have gone to university are very less. And they're accountable even, because so many, there's so many reasons. Some don't have money, some engage themselves in crimes and they died. So, but basically it's because of money. The Assumption Sisters of Nairobi have been working in communities like these for more than 50 years, giving hope and direction to the underprivileged, providing primary and secondary education for those who could never afford it on their own. Lucy and Joki has five children. Her daughter and niece attend the secondary school in the Kibagari slum in Nairobi. She earns what she can by washing clothes, just over a dollar per load. Her dream was to become a teacher, but this sadly was out of her reach. Her daughter wants to be a pilot, and Lucy says she encourages her to follow her dreams. And I try my best where I can so that I can be achieve my goal. If God wishes I take one shot in the school, then I pay for her school, please. Jemima Niaguthi is 18 years old. Her mother is dead, and she has only seen her father at a distance once. Abused by her mother's brother, the Assumption Sisters have looked after her, and she will take one of the 35 seats of the newly established Regina Patches University College. She will work towards a Bachelor of Science degree in nursing. I got scholarship now. I have no problem because I'm able to learn. And now I'm the only person I can say that I'm educated in our family. Jemima's case is unfortunately not unusual. The need for education in this country is overwhelming. So too is the need for funding. Often girls living in abject poverty drop out of school, get married, or do whatever they can to get by. Dina Nasimuyu is one of seven children. Five of them are girls. Her parents' hopes are on her. Both are casual workers living from hand to mouth. Dina knows she's an example for the others. I really like to encourage mostly girls, because boys can survive, but girls are the ones who have a very big problem. I want to study until I get a PhD. For these students, being here is already a great achievement. None of these young people ever thought they would be sitting in a university classroom. You can't find a place like this in Kenya, I don't think. So Regina Apache is, is quite unique. This is Sister Marie Teresa Gachambi. It is her vision that is driving this project. I have always uh, realized that the, the poor, particularly women, coming from uh, poor family, the disadvantaged families, they don't have the opportunity to be able to realize their talents. This is the site for the Regina Patches University College campus. The university will sit on these 50 acres in Machakos, just south of Nairobi. When I really look at this, I see opportunities in which the uh, the girls and the boys and people who are really marginalized, having the opportunity to realize their dreams, to find a meaningful you know, life that they can use their talents. The university will basically cater for disadvantaged students and more so girls. Our first program, which has just started, is a BSc in nursing. The need for a campus is crucial. To establish this new site will require capital, endowment, and scholarships. The Assumption Sisters of Nairobi, with Sister Maria Teresa at the helm, have developed a plan to expand the program to a university level. Currently, these nursing students occupy one classroom, but the goal is to expand the university beyond the nursing program to include education and other degrees. But it is not just a stress on education alone. 
This is professional ambition with the commitment to do public good. The goal is to take students out of misery and enable them to put their expertise and training back into where they came from. Helping others is key. I want to be an inspiration to the whole nation, to make a difference for the nurses. Most of the hospitals, most of the people in the country, and in majority, I think, in the world, they do think that nurses are rude. And we want to change the mentality of the people and to show that we nurses, we are not rude. And to make a difference to those who are rude and to initiate them to this world of work for the people, save human life, care for the people and serve others. I plan to start a clinic maybe at home which will help people. You see the, the, you see the people who are, who are not privileged, who cannot go, who cannot afford to go to hospital, especially the women and children. Yeah, I really want to work with women and children. When I grow up, I want to help other people and other kids who are in need like I was. In many parts of the country, large numbers of people die at home or on their way to health care facilities. Women die giving birth due to lack of facilities, health care practitioners, or medicine. There is urgent need to prepare students to a degree level, enabling them to face health care challenges in Kenya today. Health issues, too, are now of great concern. As a basic human need, facilities are inaccessible either because they're too expensive or they're just not available. I have been having the inspiration since I was in lower primary school and I used, I used to see the, the nurses, the doctors in the nearby dispensary working very hard with the white uniform, they look nice. When somebody is taken to hospital and he gets well within two to three days, I really saw that it was a challenge and I wished that one day I could be among that the, that group of people. Many people die because of, especially the women and children, die because of lack of, maybe they, they don't go to the hospitals or the skills, they, 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 there's lack in skills or the equipment, there's, there's, not, there's not adequate equipment. So I just, I don't know, maybe I'll make some change when I'm already a qualified nurse. Of all university students here in Kenya, less than 30% are women and those are the people who can afford to go, leaving those with no money for fees marginalized, stuck. With 60% of the population under the age of 26, Kenya has a burgeoning youth, and yet the places for further education have not expanded. Youth are left unskilled and angry. I have to be a motivation to the whole community and also to my own family. I feel this project will be a success. Many of these people that we have shared our dream and who recognize that they have received more, they have benefited more, they feel challenged and they want to give back to the society some of what they have received and they kind of are ready to take the dream forward so that we can be able to really together, build together. Of ourselves, Assumption Sisters, we, we, we feel we need a collaborative effort. Yeah. And we need you all.